Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to the Stain and Seal Show. I appreciate you watching this clip. I think you're gonna love it. Here it goes. My experience with Western Red Cedar is um, is is as follows. So at Stain and Seal Experts, our service business based here in Nashville and Middleton Sea, it's predominantly a treated pine market. But here in the South, we still get you know uh, our fair share of Western Red Cedar, and we're getting more and more of it for fencing and timbers. But we we almost never see it for decking. Maybe one cedar deck per year we would do. Um, so I would say, you know, less than 1% of what we do on decking is cedar, but we love staining cedar, Western red cedar, particularly because of the before and after photos. Usually, even if a cedar fence is just starting to turn color a little bit, maybe it's, it's not turning gray, but it's just starting to turn, um, almost has a little bleached look in the sun. If you throw a semi-transparent stain on there or even a transparent, man, it just looks killer and just world-class photos so nothing looks as nice as um as cedar uh once it's, it's been stained and sealed in my opinion we have found also here in nashville we have found because i got a background in fencing so we found that western red cedar is very stable so it's not going to warp and crack and twist like other lumbers would traditionally but you can get a little bit um, during like rapid growth or rapid drying you know so if you had six weeks of rain and then six weeks of of drought you might see a little movement in the wood and then um you know if it were the, that winter to um really wet winter to really hot dry spring that that uh season change uh you could see some some warping so if you've if you've got a fence or deck built in january and it is now february coming close to march it would be a really good time to go ahead and stain and seal it now because um it, you could prevent that warping and twisting that could happen in that may uh, march april may area especially june we still even see some warpage going on in june um, and again once your wood's 13 percent or less moisture you can do it and the care of maintenance the care and maintenance on this stuff is um you can you can usually stain rough cut fencing within um maybe one to two weeks of it being installed there's no treatment in western cedar so typically only the water the moisture in that wood is just from the tree itself um, and usually by the time it comes all the way to, to the south from canada it is um, it's dried up and um, or at least a day or two in the sun and it will be dry enough to stain um, if it's decking i would say four weeks to dry out um, you always want to check with the moisture meter of course uh, for that 13 percent or less if it is kiln dried cedar um, and it's not wet you know it didn't get rained on or something then you could stain that immediately before or after installation so western cedar is probably the number one lumber that gets pre-stained in the united states because um, you don't have to wait a long time for it to dry out so like other wood species you can wait a year to stain it um, but like other species it's not going to look quite as good if you wait a year um, it will absorb more stain but it's not going to quite look quite as good and it's also going to need cleaning our stain expert stain and seal talk about it um, it was uh, developed not only to be beautiful on cedar and stop it from warping and cracking and twisting um, if that you know to prevent that um, but penetrates into the wood and it replaces that oil preservative that cedar makes on its own. So we are re-oiling, re-preserving the cedar. So if you're talking to your customers and they have a cedar fence, it's important to mention that. Remember, Western cedar, as it grows, it creates it's an oil inside of itself. And that's what makes the wood um, last. That's what gives the wood, um, that's what preserves the wood. And over time that diminishes. So we are here now and we have the opportunity to re-oil this wood which can keep water out of the wood. It can keep weather damage out. It's going to stop warping, cracking, and twisting. And it also occurred to me, um, Christian, um, many of you guys know Christian, he was thinking, we were talking about a dry, brittle fence, post, board, etc., cetera, piece of wood, um, if it went under tension, would break quicker than one that was conditioned and suppled. Um, many of you guys have stained a deck that was dry. And then when you get the oil-based stain on it, the deck sometimes will creak a little bit, starting to make noise. That's because the deck swell up. It swelled back up. All that shrinkage that happened and pulled away from the nails and the fasteners, as it, um, as that oil penetrated into the wood, it, 
it has swollen and you know maybe the creeks at first are a little bit of a of a nuisance you know that you know it's not going to do that forever but right it right up at first it will um, but actually that is a sign that you can hear that hey the oil is working it is penetrating into the wood it is um, conditioning that wood so remember talk to your customers about that and remember you know folks if you have any exterior wood it's your duty and obligation to get it preserved um, with a good penetrating oil-based product remember the job is not done until it's finished. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in to the Stain and Seal Show. I really hope you enjoyed that clip. To see another clip just like it that I think you're gonna love, click on this link right here. Or if you wanna see the full episode, check us out down here. Now make sure you subscribe and like, and we'll see you on the next Stain and Seal Show.